What are we talking about today? Hello everybody and welcome to What Are We Talking About? Today we're talking about the Return of the Jedi of the Star Wars. Star Wars Episode 6, Return of the Jedi. Yeah. It's when the Jedi returned. Well, Jedi being a singular, not the plural. Return of the Jedi. The one Jedi who yeah. returned and yeah. everybody, all the other ones. They died. We're dead. Yeah. Well, Yoda's not quite dead, yeah. But he dies. Yoda's dies, yeah. It's so, yeah, Obi-Wan's dead, Yoda's dead, Anakin dies at the end after he turns back to being a Jedi. Yeah. So we're left to Luke. That's all we know. Yeah, so it's a literal term. Return of the Jedi. Yeah. In the singular. That's what it should say. So, like, in just brackets. Singular. But, uh... <clears throat> I don't know what to, where to start. What do you... Why don't you start with this one? What do you think about Return of the Jedi? Oh, I love it. It's my favorite one. It's my favorite Star Wars movie. Yeah, I just love how... Up until, yeah, Force Awakens... It was the one that closed it all off. Like yeah. It ends it all, right? Like yeah. It's the one that... For a long time, it end. seemed like it, it was going to be the final one. Like, that, I honestly, yeah. <clears throat> for a long time, truly believed it was the final one. Yeah, oh, yeah. No, I, that's what I always thought, too. Like, I thought this was it. Like, this is the last Star Wars we're mm-hmm. going to see up to Episode 6. And yeah. I didn't think there was ever going to be an Episode 7. No, I just love it. Because, yeah, it ties everything together. Like, it's... And it just, it it seems like they took everything that we love from Star Wars, and, th- like, from Episode 1 and 2, or not Episode 1 and 2, Episode 5 and 4 and 5, yeah. and put both of those into Episode 6. No. And, but, yeah, they did have a few, like, goofy things, like, did I agree with what happened to Boba Fett? No. Do I agree with Ewoks and how Ewok kind of took down the Empire? No. But other than that, I love this movie. It's the best. Like, that whole conclusion with Luke, Darth Vader, and the Emperor, like, that's just, like, that's such an incredible scene. Yeah. One thing I will <laughs> say about <coughs> the Ewoks defeating the Empire it is... Uh, Clearly, stormtroopers are idiots. It's been shown in four and five that stormtroopers were already idiots. Well, so just wait, just wait. Let me explain the whole thing. So stormtroopers are idiots. The Ewoks, it's their own terrain. They have a group of rebels and Han Solo, Princess Leia, Chewbacca, all with them. So like a Wookiee, a kick-ass smuggler, and like I don't know, you know Princess Leia. <laughs> And, uh, like, yeah, she, she kick ass too. She, I mean, she, she Fresh also, is stra- she's a strategic, she's more also strategic, yeah. right? especially it seems like in episode seven. But the most important thing is, uh, the Ewoks are also bloodthirsty and we're, they were going uh, to eat the rebels, right? They were going to eat Han and fucking yeah, yeah. Luke. They're savage beasts. Yeah. And so <coughs> they ate. I'm pretty sure they ate the stormtroopers. Oh, yeah. They're playing bongo drums with their helmets yeah, at the end. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so that's just my defense of the Ewoks. I agree with you, though. They were put in there to sell toys. Oh, yeah. But, no, like, how you said the stormtroopers were stupid. Yeah. There's that whole thing. That, like, I, they, that, they that is a good theory. supposed to... You want to explain that theory? For people how, who may have never like, heard it? the stormtroopers... It? They never shot and killed their target because they weren't supposed to. They were always hurting them somewhere, except for, I guess, maybe in the first If one. you look it up, the only time that in, that they... Sh- in episode four, at the very start, when Vader's taken over that rebel ship, the stormtroopers kill all those rebels oh, super yeah. easy. Like, they oh, kill yeah. all their targets, right? Whereas when they're trying to shoot at Luke or Han or Leia, these valuable people, right... In episode five and six, they especially they're always hurting them. They're yeah, they're moving, t- making them go somewhere. Except yeah. for with the the Empire, you know, chasing Han through the asteroid field. That was Han evading them. They weren't hurting him into the asteroid field like that was. No, but they're trying to capture. Him. Yeah, they weren't trying to. They weren't trying to destroy him. him. Yeah. They wanted to capture. Yeah, him. that was his own choice. He thought he could lose them through it. Did he? Yeah. 
I guess. But no, he came back out to the Empire and had to face them again. And that's then, what I said. Like, yeah, I guess. Then he lost like, them he by he would collecting, all, he, like he would have, under the back and then like, going through the jump. Like he did, but then he was basically the forced out of the field because he had the worm. Yeah, the worm. Mag. Shut up, Mag. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Episode six is I don't know. It's hard. That's the thing. Like I, 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 I've, all, I've said, Star Wars Episode Four is my favorite, and Star Wars Episode Five is the best name. But I also love Star Wars Episode Six so much that it's hard to say that it's not also. Like I need another title that it's also my yeah, my bestie, because there's so much stuff in it that is amazing. I mean, <clears throat> first of all, Jabba the Hutt. Yeah, see Jabba the Hutt. You the Rancor. Rancor, Sarlacc pit. We get to see, like, Death Star 2.0 in the works. The Emperor. The Emperor. Like, in, in the flesh. Like, the Royal Guard, like, or the Imperial Guard, or yeah. whatever they're called. Like, it's... Uh, yeah. We also get to see, like you said, Lando actually pilot the Millennium Falcon. Yeah. And, you know, destroy the Death Star. We get to see more of Wedge, I guess, yeah. Uh, also, we get to see... <clears throat> the final confrontation and the full finishing arc of Luke Skywalker, where <clears throat> he comes to term with with the uh, with uh, well, his is dark. Is it the final? Is it the, the end of the arc now? Well, or as far as we force, knew, the Force Awakens. Yeah, yeah exactly. as far as we knew. But as yeah. far as we knew, this was the end, and I think this is why the Force is awakening, and this is why Luke has been a hermit all these years because he his main goal was to bring balance to the Force, so he thought he should just stay away after this, after he. Episode four, six, where he he confronts the Emperor and Vader. He almost kills Vader, but instead, when the Emperor says, "Good, kill him, take his place, join me on the dark side of the Force," Luke says, "No. I'm a Jedi, like my father before me, right? And like, mm -hmm. no matter what you like, you can just kill me. I'm not gonna kill my father." And then the Emperor starts killing him, and then Vader yeah. is like. No. Yeah. He. Yeah. That whole thing where he looks back and forth for a while. Yeah. Yeah. One of the greatest sequences ever. When I was a kid, I used to always talk about how the emperor exploded in a blue fart. Which I don't know why I thought that that light pulse was a fart. <laughs> but uh, you know, kids and stuff. Uh, but. I think that that's probably the most important character-defining moment for Luke Skywalker that we've seen so far, and that's one of the most important, important points of where we can know Luke can possibly be going forward into The Force Awakens is, in Episode 6, the thing he believed was he literally came to face with terms and said, I'm not going to kill him. I'm gonna, like, you can kill me no matter what you do, I'm just gonna, yeah. like, I, I'm i here for good, right? And so, I I don't know, like, there's a lot of people that are speculating that in The Force Awakens, Luke's gonna be bad, but I don't think so. Yeah. I, like I, I just feel like it would be super out of character. Mm -hmm. He fought, in the end, he showed, no, I am gonna be good, like, after that, after going through that, what else is there, really? Yeah. Unless maybe one of these uh, new characters are his kids and that they are in danger and that brings him back into it. Who knows? Maybe it's his niece and nephew. That's also, I guess, important. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah it is. Maybe he married somebody and, you know, I don't know who. Sana Solo after Han Solo just like made her leave him maybe she found Luke and uh, they had a kid and it became a fan Finn Skywalker yeah what if what if it'd be weird anyways rate it rate it I don't know I guess I would just say it's my third favorite I don't know how else to rate it it's my third it's my favorite but uh, there's got to be a better rating system than it's my third favorite, because it, <laughs> I can't say it's the worst of the original trilogy because I know, it's it's, it's great. 
It's still awesome. That's my rating. It's awesome. Watch it. The culmination of Star Wars. Until the Force Awakens comes out right away. It's like how how many days from? Like eight days. It's like, yeah, eight days from when we're recording this. So can't wait. But when this comes out, it'll be even closer. Yeah. Yeah. But that's it. You heard our ratings. Let us know what you think of the movies. I mean. Well, yeah, let us know what you think of all all of Star Wars, but especially Return of the Jedi. Uh, do you enjoy the movie? Is it your favorite? Do you hate the Ewoks? Do you love the Ewoks? Do you wish you could have, when you were, did you grow up wishing that you could have, you know, lived with the Ewoks in the Ewok village up in the trees, in the treehouse? I don't know, when I was a kid I kind of thought that'd be kind of dope. No, oh, yeah, no, living in the tree, like, would you rather live? Oh, let's see. Would you rather live in on Kashyyyk, Endor, or Yavin 4? I guess. <coughs> Kashyyyk, I guess, just because more people are awesome. But I mean, here's the, th the thing. The difference between Wookiees and Ewoks are, to a Wookiee, you're like his little buddy, right? To an Ewok, you're like giant. Yeah. So it's like, which would you rather I know. be? I you know. You want to be giant or you want to be tiny? I know. Because Chewie's actually pretty short for a Wookiee. He's average size. He's like two feet shorter than the king. That other one. That's not even the king. That's just like his cousin or something. I'm pretty sure. Oh, I thought that was like an important. He seemed like he it was might. Like he might be. In the, I don't know if there's. I, Maybe he is, but I don't know. Why, why was Chewie there? I just thought they were like. So I thought they were making him out, I thought they were making him out to be like a important figure, like a high up figure in the Wookiee. Oh no, I'm pretty sure that's just the Wookiee that Yoda knew. Chewie's just the Wookiee that Yoda knew because Yoda was like good relations with the Wookiees. Yeah, I have, and so good relations with the Wookiees I have. Go to Kashyyyk. I will. And then Chewie, I thought, was his connections. And that, the other dude was like, Chewie's Did they ever or explain that in Clone Wars, maybe? Maybe in Clone Wars. I'd have to go back and rewatch it. Huh. Anyways. But what would you choose? Did you choose? Me? Yeah. Oh. Corbin? I, I'm going to choose Corbin. Well, it's not called that anymore. More about it. More about it. I don't know. More about just because then I could become then I could go around to all become the a and like collect all the knowledge of force and become a powerful great Jedi. I don't know. And then would you go? S is there a Jedi equivalent of Marvin? I have no idea. Coruscant. <laughs> Coruscant. No. The Jedi Temple of Coruscant. Like, I, I guess maybe if you're referring to Ken, yeah, but then, no, because, like, it would have been, yeah, I guess. Maybe, Dagobah? Maybe. It has, like, the dark side cave. Well, is that the Dagobah. dark side cave? I, that's the thing about Dagobah. Dagobah is just all about the Force, because the thing about the Force is the more it's living about, things yeah. there are, the more Force there is there, right? Yeah. But, uh... We already rated it, we already told you what we thought, we already asked you to tell us what we think, because, you know, we want to know, like, let us know, and <clears throat> we'd like to start a conversation, that's what this is all about, so, like I said earlier, let us know your thoughts in the comments, if you enjoyed this video, share it with your friends, that's the best thing to do, but, uh, you know, that's it, thanks for watching, never stop. I don't know what else to say. Star Wars. Never stop. It's Star Wars. Just never stop Star Wars. I, ne I hope they never stop making Star Wars movies. That's where I'm going. Well, that's, what they, that's basically what they've announced, <coughs> is that they'll never stop me. They'll put out a Star Wars movie once a year until people stop watching it. And that kind of makes me a little bit disappointed, because it's... Why? It's going to make... Like, these are forever going to be, like, just awesome or whatever. But it's going to make that whole... 
Like I, I just hope they don't run. It's gonna Star change Wars. the. It's yeah. gonna change Star Wars as we know it, forever. Oh yeah, there's gonna be like. We used like, to think it meant Star Wars was six movies, but now it's an unlimited amount of movies. Yeah, no, that's just it's weird. It's weird to think. It is. Anyways, peace.